What if my animations was released on Netflix? I believe that one day it will happen. But did you know that a VPN is useful when watching Netflix? Surfshark VPN was a huge help in making today's animation. Let me give you an example. Harry Potter is not on Korean Netflix. In that case, you can use a VPN to connect to another country and watch Harry Potter. And with VPN, you can have complete security. The internet these days is full of all kinds of phishing, malware and illegal advertisements. These are the days when you really need a VPN. Also, your ID and password may be leaked to someone. Actually, as you know, I have had my YouTube channel hacked before. Since then, I have bought and used a VPN right away and feel very secure. With a VPN, everything about me is private, so we can safely enjoy our freedom. If you enter this onesie code, you can get 83% off and an extra 3 months for free. Check out the link in the description and comments. When I was 13, me and my cousin went to the movie theater to watch The Conjuring 2. We were so excited because we were going to watch the horror movie alone with no adults. We were going to go with my older cousin, but they let us go alone because it was my cousin's birthday. When we went to the theater, we got popcorn and snacks to watch the movie. When we went inside the room and got into our seats, I noticed a woman dressed up as a nun. At first I got scared, but then I thought it could be a staff member. I told my cousin, and then we just got excited. The nun sat down a few rows behind us and watched the movie. When me and my cousin were watching the movie, I turned to see the nun, who was now looking at me. She was sitting down, but had her head turned to look at me. I got scared and told my cousin. She told me to ignore it, so I did. For the next half hour, I focused on the movie. Then I turned to the nun, who was now even closer to our seats. I panicked and told my cousin. She looked at the nun and told me the movie was about to finish and not to worry. I was scared the whole rest of the movie. I wanted to turn my head to see where the nun was, but I was scared that she might be closer. When I finally turned to look, I didn't see her. I was relieved, but then I noticed a black head in the row in front of me. It was the nun. I got so scared, I couldn't even talk, so I just poked my cousin's arm and pointed at the nun. My cousin was scared now, so she told me to change seats to get closer to the stairs by the exit. We changed seats, and I just kept looking at the nun. At this time, the movie had been out for a few days already, so there weren't many people in the seats. I was still watching The Nun, but I was also watching the movie. At one point, I forgot about The Nun until there was a creepy scene, and then I magically remembered The Nun. I turned to look for her, and she was standing at the end of our row. When I saw her standing there, I couldn't tell if she was looking at us or at the stairs, but I was confident she was staring at us. I told my cousin, and she got creeped out. She told me that if the nun came any closer, we should jump into the front rows. I agreed, so for the rest of the movie, we just kept an eye on the nun. In the movie, there were lots of screams, which made us focus on the movie and then on the nun. We looked back at the movie for a moment, and then I heard footsteps. I turned and could tell that the nun had gotten closer. I told my cousin, and she noticed too. We were about to look back at the nun when she started to walk very fast to our seats. My cousin was closest to the stairs, so she got up and went running down the stairs, and I jumped over the row of seats. The nun was just laughing. We turned back to look at the seats, and the lights of the movie theater turned on. We could see the nun holding a knife and laughing at us. She was pointing the knife at us with a creepy grin. We just ran out of the room, screaming, and a worker at the theater asked us what was wrong. I told him everything, and then the nun came out of the theater, laughing. She still had the knife, and then she randomly started to stab everything and everyone in her way. Her target was us, so we ran out of the whole theater, and luckily there were police officers passing by. They got the woman and took her to the police station for an investigation. We had to go with them to tell them everything that happened. 
It turned out the nun was a mentally ill woman that escaped her institution and went into random movie theaters dressed as the staff to be able to get inside. Then she changed into her nun costume. Apparently, she stabbed 12 people in the theater, but thankfully they survived. Me and my cousin were in shock and we immediately called our parents. They were so relieved that we were okay. After that night, we called each other and had sleepovers, but never again will we go alone to a movie theater.